Ryan Cole in the leadoff spot for Notre Dame. He's back in left field after DHing yesterday, and he looks at a 94 mile an hour fastball up. It's been loud stuff the entire weekend for the balls, and nothing changes today. Freshman right hander Chase Burns is going to be a first rounder in a few years. Notre Dame has 22 wins away from home, a 23rd win, which sent him to Omaha for the third time in program history. They're in all of college baseball. And Cole sends a line drive to right. Jordan Beck has it. All American, the accolades pouring in for this game. Yeah. Right and he gets him swinging on the cutter, two down. Hitless in the regional, three hits here, and he drives this one to left. Park's going to hold it, wind blowing right to left, and a 10 pitch first inning for Chase Burns. Yeah, it's a big old boy now. Yeah. And the stuff, the stuff is a little bit better than maybe the ERA will show. All you got to do is look at the strikeout line. 49 punch outs and 27 innings tells you the stuff's pretty loud. And Here's a look at the most dangerous batting order in the country. Tennessee leads the nation in home runs, and they get their cleanup hitter, Drew Gilbert. Back in the four spot against Texas Tech. And that outing against Texas Tech. Three innings, two hits allowed. He walked two, but he punched out eight. 16 strikeouts in his last eight innings. Lipsy has hit two yesterday, and now he's got a third. The sixth year senior gets it started with a bang for Tennessee. Boys and Orange can hit the fastball if they know it's coming, and that's what they're going to dial up for right here. Lipsius got it. Center cut fastball, mid 90s. Lipsius, then Russell, then Lipsius again. That one didn't make it to the plate. Four pitch walk puts Beck aboard. And here's the ovation for Drew Gilbert. Gilbert got tossed from game one after expressing his displeasure with the home plate umpire. Yesterday, he brings the energy for the Tennessee team. A little dribbler, and Brannigan fires just in time, and now a throw to second. And they're lucky that didn't get into left field. And his focus, reach for that one to short. Here's Preisner. Tennessee gets one, but that is it. What could have unraveled quickly for Notre Dame. Trying to do it all the time. He's a hard time throwing it straight. To short, here's Lipscomb cutting off Lawson and an early mistake for a Tennessee defense, which typically does not make it. In major college baseball, runner goes, pitches a strike, throw to second is high, and Notre Dame knows he can take advantage of this battery with Burns' leg kick and Russell behind the plate. Runner goes, a throw from Russell is late. Ziska nearly overslid the bag, but he takes second and then third on consecutive pitches, and the Irish are off and running. To short, this will get a run home and tie the game. Lawson, one down. Payoff. Second K for Chase Burns. And there's his first walk. Runner goes, pitches a strike, throw down to second is in time. Preisner still on the turf at second base for a Notre Dame team that's already beat up. 30 long balls behind 1997 LSU. Lead off walk from Liam Simon, puts Ortega on. Could make a decision, and he strikes out looking first K for Liam Simons. Runner at first and one down. Runner goes. It's strike three. The throw to second is wide. And a stolen base for Jarrell Ortega. It's his second four-pitch walk. And his third walk of the game. Leaves trailing by one. And this is a line drive and left. Ortega around third. They will send him home. The relay is cut. And Tennessee's got a 2-1 lead. Got 
underneath it. Racing back is Miller. And in foul territory calls for it. Copes, he runs into him. Somehow he holds on to it. They had the same issue out of Stevenson pop up to start the game. It is loud down there. And even though Miller was calling off, I don't think Coatsy heard him. A good form tackle by Coatsy. Little dribbler, Burns, throws it high. Second misplay for Tennessee in this game. To give yourself the best chance. Lipscomb halfway home, and it's a throw down to second and another stolen base. They went the back. You saw it almost happen to Ziska in the second. Coatsy can't believe it. Call. There it is. 1-1 one, one to Myers. And he sends a shot towards right center field. Gilbert got there. Cole pops it up. Ortega caught off by Lawson. And he'll handle it. Fair. Hit him. Runner goes, pitches up, throw to second, is there. Caught stealing to end the inning. To second and through. And a base hit for Jared Miller to start the fourth. Look out. And now he's going to second. Look Lips out. His wheel goes Look through the, in the left field. And now Miller trying for third. The throw there is in time. What a circus. And now Lipscomb walked away from Miller by the third base umpire, Greg Harmon. It was Seth Stevenson who delivered a strike to the bag after the Lipsius overthrow. They're going to have a long discussion after the. I think Lipscomb gets fired up. Watch the front foot as he comes in. And I, I don't think he's trying to. Well, yeah, and then we, we got a little push and a shove and a. Guess what? Your 22 year old dudes playing for a shot to go to Omaha. They're not going to hug each other every time. It's all right to get a little bit fired up. Ziska, five for his last five, the 2 2. Swing and a miss at 97. Notre Dame wastes a leadoff single. And then the first one to head to Omaha this year. OU holds on. We got an old school Southwestern Conference match. That's right. And started game three. To Price and a one, two, three framework by Rayon. He's keeping that pitch count down through his first couple of innings of relief. Breaking ball for strike three. It's his second one, two, three inning. He needed just seven pitches. Lawson sends a soft line drive to left. Stevenson swinging away, sends it in the left field corner. Lawson rumbles into third. Cole's throw cut off and a double clutch before the throw home. Tennessee adds to its lead. Preisner could have had him if he would have come immediately. Just as you suggested, let's. And he sends a hot shot to third. Brannigan is a magician at the hot corner. And Tennessee swings it the final two pitches. They produce nothing. Chopped to short. Lawson. And it's another one, two, three inning work by Chase Burns. I think Rune should be allowed to wear his bucket on TV more, too. <laughs> Just completes the look. I agree with you. He said, man, when I'm behind the plate, it's all just kind of blocked out. Chance for two. Preisner makes a turn in a 4-6-3. Notre Dame needed that. Got him looking. Well hit towards the cap in left center. Gilbert chasing. It's going to get up to the fence and over it. And an automatic double for Carter Putz. And that ball is lifted to shallow left. In fact, it won't leave the infield now. And Lipscomb puts it away. Into right field, long run back into the corner, and it is gone! Opposite field home run for LaMotta. Only his second of the year, and we are tied.
this one's lifted to left, and it is gone if it's fair. The wind playing tricks with it, and will push it foul. Brannigan touches this one deep left field. Notre Dame has done it again, and the Irish take the lead. And for the first time, Zach Preisner up the middle, Ortega. This small park has tilted Notre Dame's way. Curveball for strike three. Which is half as many as Tennessee has hit. Popped up to short. That record was held by the 98 team with Alan Green, Brad Lidge in the zone. Hit him, hit him. Off the mound. And Sewell delivers a strike. The sacrifice puts Coachy at second. One run lead in the eighth. Lipscomb with a hop and a look. Double clutch and he threw it low. And he drops a butt down. Cannell off the mound to handle it. Well Advances Coachy to third and Cole to second. And Putt sends the first in a shallow right center. Gilbert chasing. It's going to get past him and get all the way to the fence. Two runs in for Notre Dame on a Carter Putts double. Man, does that error look big right now? Two two. Ziska sends a line drive past the reach of Lawson. Putts headed home. The throw from Stevenson cut off. Lipson's got Ziska in the rundown. The run has already scored. And finally, the pitcher at the bag to end the inning. One down in the eighth. Against Southern Miss last night. Gilbert drops oh the bunt down. Bobbled by Finley and then whips on him. Gilbert's a star, star that stirs the drink or the straw. Have we want to look at it? He's trying to get something going for UT. And the freshman Finley has got moving too quick. They want to handcuff Lamana, throw to second. He still do that. got him. You cannot do that. You're down four runs. The mistakes mounting for this Tennessee team, and now a pop up off Lipscomb's back. Jared Miller. We head to the ninth. Lipscomb can't reach it. It's down the line. An extra base is coming for Zach Preisner. A two out double as the Irish look to add on here in the ninth. Swing and a miss. Walsh holds the Irish scoreless in the ninth. To third, Brannigan, the best defensive player. One down. It's inside Tennessee's got a base runner with one out. To third, Brannigan goes to second for one. Miller to first, and Notre Dame with the upset of the year in college baseball. The Fighting Irish are returning to Omaha.